Hey everyone, welcome back to Persona 5. Now I just uh, sold off a bunch of treasure and stuff that I don't uh, care about, got a little money, and I think we're sitting at 2,083,000, so uh, I basically just made back all the money I spent over the last few episodes. And uh, we are going to go... Oh, actually... No, never mind, I do have... Uh, about to say I need a new persona, but no, I still have La Lachesis, so I don't need, uh, I have a fortune persona here. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go hang out with, uh, with Jihaya. Are you free today? From fortune telling to verification, uh, I offer many services. I'll be waiting at the usual spot. Yep, so let's go hang out. I look forward to seeing you. It doesn't look as, that, uh, as though that actually took money from me. So, uh, I wonder if it actually didn't, traveling that way. I'm going to shrivel up. Huh, it's so hot today. Okay, we've read this. Uh, we're here to do a verification test. I've been waiting for you. Let's do the verification... The, the, the little... Yeah, the, yeah. Let's, just, let's just move on. Let's figure out my trick. Okay, let's hang out. <laughs> oh. I was just about to uh, ready for a client, so uh, yeah, well, please stay and watch. Bye, Morgana. Good evening. Hello there, Mifune Sensei. Mifune Sensei? Oh my god, that's right. Hifumi and Mifune, that's not going to get confusing to me at all. Jihaya Mifune. So, uh, I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was particularly ac was practically perfect because I don't even know where I was getting accurate from. Or particularly, for that matter. By the way, uh, who is this boy? Oh, oh, you didn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can thank him as a human. You can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. I would just love this moment as soon as she finish, she says this, just to have that slow turn to look over at her and just stare. <laughs> okay, that wasn't exactly what I had wanted, but I'm glad he did that. That was good. I like it. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman? Even though he's a guy? Um, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm just not even going to touch that one. I work with women at my work. Everyone there is a woman on my side. I'm entirely surrounded. I, I mean, it's it's a great place to work. Actually, no, seriously, it is actually a pretty damn good place to work. My, uh, my co-workers are awesome. My bosses are awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I'll say to that. Uh, something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Oh, of course, she's an office lady. Yeah, again, this is a cultural thing. Uh, largely, women are, are seen as homemakers and housekeepers so, sort of thing, uh, rather than uh, less, I'm going to say, the less stereotypical, the less traditional sort of um, jobs, this kind of thing, like office work and whatnot there. That's a man's job. And this isn't me saying that. This is just more, more so of a, a societal look over there. It is not uh, the end-all, be-all but it is definitely much more difficult for uh, for women in the workplace in Japan than it is, say, like in North America or in Canada. Uh, so, like, it's, um, yeah, that's, uh, it's shit, but that's, yeah. I understand her plight. Um. Take that to mean something else has happened with your job. Yes, uh, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for success for a successful project that I poured my heart and soul into. That actually happens even if you're not a woman, though. That's that's that same kind of shit will happen even if you're a guy. Somebody else will take credit uh, very easily if they if they feel they can get away with it. And you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. I'm gonna leave that be. I my my stance on that should already be fairly uh, fairly evident. Like that that's right there is horseshit. Yeah, ter how terrible is right. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a foothold in the market though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh divine power. Let's see how this goes. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. Yeah, that is mentioning the uh, the position of the the tarot cards. If it's upside down or reversed, as it were, it has essentially a negative uh, connotation to it. It's uh, the reverse uh, meaning. So if something would be good, the reverse version of it is usually bad. Uh, so that's that's what that's talking about. Oh, wh wh what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were, were you even listening? Of course I was listening. What, we do? what can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Change her boss's heart. <laughs> Oh my god, change her boss's heart. I have no idea where that's going to go, but my thing here would be to encourage her. If she wants to, to start her own uh, to start her own business sort of thing, then the more people she has behind her, like that that that's what she should do. Right? Maybe? I don't know. This is a hard uh, this is a, that would be a very hard choice to make in any situation. Like you're talking about somebody's, uh, essentially somebody's life, their their livelihood and whatnot. It is not easy to to leave a job, as, however shitty it is, that's at least stable to start something new that may not even take off to begin with. Like that is one hell of a scary thing. But either way, whether it's um, encouragement to start her own business essentially or to. Uh, to stand up for herself uh, at work and whatnot there. Like, either way, encouraging her, I think, is probably the better bet. What? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Uh, incidentally, what do you say if you wanted, uh, what would you say if you want to encourage her? Overturn your fight. <laughs> Overturn your fate. Fight the power. Hurrah! Like... <laughs> the crap. Because it's Shihaya here, I'd say overturn your fate. Ah, don't be so responsible. That's simply not an option. Of course it is. How can you expect her to overturn her fate? That uh, Overturn that which is inescapable. What happened to the last person I told you would uh, things would change? Overturning fate. That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antique industry. There you go. Mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. Even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Well, there's a nice uh, point of view for that. Like, even if I fail, at least I'll be doing something that I want instead of, you know, this crap. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifune-sensei. Huh? Uh, you're far too irresponsible, Marson. Her misfortune has already been made clear. Read that again. The cards will surely back me up on that. What? There you have it. It, it seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? I just gave her a little bit of encouragement. And are you... are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. <laughs> oh wow, yeah that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. Now what makes you say that? Op yeah, open your mind to change. Well, she's ready to rank up next time. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my Holy Stone business intact? 
you don't need the holy stones to keep your fortune telling intact. Uh, anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Since Chihai is an intense motivation. Well, one step closer. All right. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. Well, that's good enough. Bye. Oh, that's enough for tonight. Either way. Alright, how many days do we have left now? Like... Five? Four or five? Something like that? Four more days. Oh, what's going to happen? Phantom Thieves will do something about it. Can they really? Oh, we don't even know who they are. That's probably impossible. We need some sort of miracle. If they could do something about it, they'd be gods. Wow. Wow. That's just, just wow. <laughs> Way too hot. Yep. Hey. Yep, we have requests from Mishima. Who's talking to me? Alright. What do we have today? And I I was just about to say Ryusuke again. And Yusuke and Ryuji. Well, we uh, we have our knowledge maxed. Um, hmm. What is playing here in the? Uh, I can't fast travel to the theater. Oh yeah, here it is. What's playing in the theater? Um, blah, blah. Kindness. Well, we uh, we get three points of kindness that I definitely need. So, yeah, let's do that. It's almost time for the movie to start. Let's grab a seat. Thief, confess your crime. Oh, is there no God in this world? That was pretty terrible. <laughs> wow, that bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. We learned a bit about how to be more compassionate to others. Yay! Is that my kindness ranking up? Oh yeah! Well, that was great. Uh, I guess I need to still match, match, max out my charisma, and uh, right. I suppose upping my uh, my proficiency wouldn't be too bad either. Watch right to the credits. All right, let's go home. Well, Jesus, I don't think I need max uh, kindness for anything. Well. Rain, huh? few degree, just a few degrees cooler would, uh, you know, would do it. He says with a torrential rain going on outside. Dude, finally running out of time. People are getting even more restless online too. Are we done for if we lose here? Uh, I don't think we want to think about that possibility right now. Or I don't even want to think about it. it makes a lot more sense. Indeed, uh, those who once revered us as heroes now seem to revile. Yeah, revile us. That's what that says. Calm down. Yeah, calm. we've done all we can, but no, seriously, calm down, guys. Darren's right. Sorry for messing you all about such weird stuff. It's okay. We all feel the same way. Try to make sure I don't blow my cover. Yeah, very, very good thing to, to, to keep an eye on there, because you're the freaking one that I'm worried most about doing that. Yeah, should we all? Sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. Wow, Jesus. But considering how fast the days are closing in... 
best thing we can do now is stay calm. Yeah. Kind of why I told him to calm down. Crossword. Screw you. All right. Uh, can't talk to uh, use uh, rank up Kawakami. It's raining, so no one's going to be there. Uh, oh, Hifumi is here. So I could rank up Hifumi, or actually, what I'm going to do is work at the beef bowl place because uh, there's rumors. Um, I have that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the central st central street is where I need to be working. Where's the requests? Yeah, ju calling for justice for cats. Uh, gather info about the cat abuse by working part time. Oh, at the Central Street convenience store. I am really glad I uh, I checked that because uh, I was going to go to the wrong place entirely. My plant is still looking good. What does the table have to say to me here? Next up, latest on the declaration of attack issued by the hacktivist group Medjed. It's only days until August 21st, the day Medjed will attack, and corporations are scrambling. With no sign of response from the Phantom Thieves, some suspect they've surrendered or ran away. Huh, we did not run away. We'll never surrender. Just watch and see what happens. Alright, well, where are we at here? 16 minutes? Yeah, we're still good. Let's, uh, actually, let's check out the second-hand store real quick. I want to see if there's, uh... That was actually a nice touch with all of the uh, the umbrellas there. I was not expecting that. Welcome. Nothing new. Okay. Let's go check out Central Street Convenience Store. Actually, first of all, it's raining, so let's see what we can buy here first of all. For wow. First of all, let's check out, first of all, uh, Soothing Soba is now on sale. So what are you going to do? Uh, let's do some shopping. What would you like? Restores 200 HP to one ally. Wow. We can only buy one, so let's buy one. We have no rainy day uh, special here, so... Alright. You finished already? Uh, let's go to work. Hmm. It's not time for your shift yet. You finished? Wait, what? Oh, I guess I have to to, to work there during the day then. Okay. Alright, it's only the, um, the flower shop and the beef bowl thing that's open at night. Oh, well. In that case... The hell should we uh, should we do? Um. Well, I guess we could uh, go to the Velvet Room and get a. Get a, a star persona and uh, go hang out with uh, Hifumi and rank her up, I guess. I guess that's what we're going to do. I'm a little disappointed. I didn't realize that. I thought I was working at the beef bowl, not the convenience store. Alright. Uh, create... No, I want to, uh... Uh, what we have here. So, we want star. So, hey, Kodama. This persona? You'll withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. Done already? I'm not heading back just yet. Let's uh, check this bed out. Told you, I don't have time to be lying around. Get to work and... Uh, that is a thing. There is there is a scene that happens there. I swear. It is time, inmate. Alright, we are going to see Hifumi. That's school, right? All right, here we go. Oh. Hmm. He for me is talking to someone. She seemed kind of trouble. Or she seems kind of troubled. But uh, we have Kodama, so let's uh, talk to her. 
Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never going to wash it. Oh, geez. All right, so he's one of these fans. Huh? Uh, please wash it. <laughs> Can't believe that you're really here in a church. Read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Uh, sorry, uh, I've been turning down all such requests. Oh, by the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been. I'll be cheering for you, if you uh, for you to qualify. You'll be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Th th thank you very much. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Hey, you are wearing very a very colorful outfit there. Ah, uh, men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. Yeah, yeah, no. I really, I just want your skills. I mean, yes. <laughs> really, must apologize for being rude to you. Um. It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. Considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me pr play here. Uh, you see, he's a shogi friend. Or he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. Uh, he once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. And he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when I played when we play together. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a rare thing. So, I did the photo shoot. Oh, that's right. She didn't really want to, but she, she did. I'm embarrassed just by thinking about it. Did you see it? I was called the Venus of Shogi. Yeah, I can kind of understand how you'd be a little embarrassed by that. She does not seem to have the personality of, uh, of say, Anne. She doesn't seem. To, she's definitely not interested in uh, like modeling and and you know, being in the limelight. She, her focus is on Shogi. Describes you perfectly. Ah, see, that's quite the headline. <laughs> it certainly is. It's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with the title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Oh, I think I see where this is going. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. Yeah, living vicariously through her daughter is, is, is I think, what's going on here. Well, you know what? That might be a little quick to jump on that. I, she, for all we know, she just could be proud of her daughter's success. So, I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. Uh, she set up the interview and the photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Hmm. And you don't seem to really be that happy about it. you don't enjoy it. No, to be honest. But it's alright. Can I get sorry. some points here, please? <laughs> oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play rather than talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you some something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reversed pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Oh, nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking to you. Actually... Uh, aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Hmm. We didn't get any points at all with her this time. Whoops. Chance for a follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. Okay. All right. That could be useful. See, in Persona 3, which is what I'm more familiar with, that was just a thing that... Uh, Actually, is it just a thing that would happen? No, that might actually have been something that comes up from uh, from social links in that too. Never mind. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. I look Are you ready? To it. Well, now that my knowledge is maxed, this is not going to do much for me. But all right. Until next time. Uh, what I look forward to the next match. Okay. I don't think she's going to be ready to rank up. <laughs> I'm, or I'm, 
maybe one more time before I need to start really pulling points together. Because I did not get any questions right there, that's for sure. <laughs> oh well. Hey. Yeah, yeah, we have Misha my requests. Um, no one's talking to me and no one's around today. So today would be a good chance to uh, go to the convenience store and uh, and uh, work. So actually, let's do that now because we it doesn't take long. Uh, convenience store. Oh, look at that, it's raining. Hmm. Soothing Soba is now on sale. Uh, let's check the shopping. It's sold out. I guess they restock once a week. Let's go to work. They want to apply for the part-time job. I'll call the manager. Please wait a moment. Oh, yeah, we've never actually been here yet to work. Oh my god, that uniform. Oh my god, that uniform. So you're Darren Marr. You applied for the job, right? We'll be asking you to work for the cash register. Uh, please watch your co-workers and learn the ropes. Do my best. Thank you very much. Uh, you can count on me. You know what? Thank you very much. Alright, I expect you to do your best. Alright, you'll get paid more for a day's work, especially hard. You'll get paid more for... Days you work especially hard, that makes more sense. On the other hand, you'll get paid less if you cause any trouble for your customers. You know what? I'm glad that doesn't actually work that way, because holy crap, life would suck if you just do a bad job one day for whatever reason and just get less money. That would that would be shit. I'm counting on you. Well, good luck. Wow. Wow, she's good. Just look at that service. Actually, that uh well, that's like generic female anime-looking characters. But to say she kind of looks like Yukari from uh, from Persona 3, but that's just kind of at a glance. <sighs> oh, we got a lot of customers today. I'm Nanami Shibuya. Your your name is Shibuya. Wow. I, I guess I'm your senpai. So did watching me give you an idea of what to do? Perfectly. Oh, how promising. In that case, I expect great things from you. Good work. Well, thanks for your hard work. Hey. Good work. Very nice. Seem pretty busy today. Want to head back? You're almost done, right? Let's go get paid and go home. Yay! That was crappy money. So I think we're gonna have to work here again before we get. Uh... Mm. Yeah. We need more information. So. We are at just about a half an hour. Ah, you're back. So, oh, it looks like Soji's ready. So, I'm going to look at the, oh, what the hell is talking to me? Jihaya and and her. That, that's EY. Jihaya and Oya. I'm probably going to go uh, boost uh, Jihaya again, but uh, either way, that'll be next time. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you come back to see what goes on tomorrow as we're getting pretty close to uh, to the cleanse date. So, until then, take care, you hear?